Hi everyone, Steve. Welcome to the Audio Files. Thank you again. Another fun episode. But first, guys, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Really appreciate all the support. Having fun doing this. Um, I'm doing a contest. When we get to 2,000 subscribers, I'm going to be giving away some Mobile Fidelity albums. My friends from UnityAudio.ca, they have some goodies they want to give away to celebrate that milestone. So thank you if you've subscribed already. And if you haven't, please hit that subscription button. Really appreciate it. And let's get started. We'll see you on the other side of the audio files. So just recently this week, big news. We've got Marvin Gaye, What's Going On, Red Hot Chili Peppers latest release. And what's cool about these two albums that they were both mastered and cut from the original analog tapes. Marvin Gaye from Kevin Gray and the Red Hot Chili Peppers album here from none other than Bernie Grunman. Both, uh, both albums of vinyl was pressed at GZ Media, the Czechoslovakian company. And uh, I, I, haven't, I don't really have a problem with uh, that pressing plant, but I did have a little bit of a, a problem with the Marvin Gaye um, one of the one of the records and I'll get into that and I'm going to start with Marvin Gaye as well now I'll put it over here this was supposed to be, come out December I believe Kevin Gray cut it from the original master tapes it sounds great I mean it might not um, have the same sound stage as of course the mobile fidelity one step um, of course it was cut at 45 rpm um, it's you know it uses the super vinyl but I think for the price here guys forty dollars US this is a really good deal uh, for what you're getting. Um, it sounds very balanced uh, sonically. Um, I have, I see no, I hear no complaints at all with it. It is, I think, just it. It, it does. It does. Um, it does really compare with the Mobile Fidelity. I think with Mobile Fidelity, a little bit more soundstage, like I mentioned, and of course the vinyl a little bit clearer. But I mean, I guess from a budget point of view, if you don't have the money to go out and spend. What is it? Upwards of three hundred dollars uh, to buy the uh, Mobile Fidelity One Step. Then I think this is your best bet. And the, one of the big reasons why, too, obviously it's been uh, cut using the master tapes, is that you're getting some bonuses as well. Um, you know, you're getting you're getting some stripped down versions on side three of what's going on. You really get to hear Marvin's voice. I mean, incredible voice, as we all know. Um, you've also got another mix with no strings and no horns, and a third uh, what's going on mix where it's uh, just the rhythm and strings instrumental. I mean, this album was released in, I think it was May of 1971. It was on the Billboard charts for a long time. I mean, it's you know one of those protest albums. Um, it was written and produced by Marvin Gaye's first production of, of an album. And really, it's as I can guess you guys all know now, really about the Vietnam War in the early 70s. And uh, it was written in the perspective of a Vietnam soldier coming home. So uh, a lot of controversy in, in its day. Um, of course, it's probably his best uh, album, or at least I think it's his best album. And I think the real key to this album and why I feel it's the best bang for your buck, obviously Kevin Gray mastered it. It sounds great. Um, I have no complaints there at all, but it's the bonus, uh, the extra extra album that you get so it's a double LP really if you can find this in the wild or at Walmart I don't know where they where they're selling them or on Amazon pick one up um, if you're a Marvin Gaye fan I mean this is incredible uh, sounding album incredible album for for the price as well I did have one pet peeve though um, I'll show you guys this I'll grab it now of course when you get the uh, mobile fidelity one step for Marvin Gaye it's all nicely packaged here and uh, with Marvin Gaye um, th that I have here for $40 they use these paper sleeves here and these thick paper sleeves and they jam everything in so it's really hard um, to basically get everything back or even to get it out but I did have a pet peeve so this paper sleeve here um, they put they glue it together it's hard to see here on the seams and so when I took the initial record out there was glue in certain areas in the in the uh, leading groove here, so it took me a while to get all the uh, the glue out. So I did not like that. That reminded me a lot of my um, my Cisco pressing uh, the uh, 
Asia pressing from Steely Dan years ago that had that uh, glue but this I got the glue out but yeah definitely have a look there guys if you have this album uh, take it out of this paper there's definitely some glue residue that uh, goes onto the vinyl so that was my one big pet peeve I didn't like about it uh, I think that's the difference too right I mean you're getting if you're buying a mobile fidelity one step it's nicely packaged uh, you're getting the rice sleeves as well um, that's what you're paying for so I mean again um, from a budget standpoint of course that's a little bit cheaper but <laughs> it uh, you know I guess uh, you get what you pay for but the vinyl um, pressed it like I said GZ Media um, I felt was very good quality uh, very quiet had no issues at all with it it was very quiet um, like I said grab it I think it's uh, really worth worth the money good bang for your buck and then the latest Red Hot Chili Peppers album I'm a big Chili Peppers fan this has you know has that chili pepper sound that we've come to know from the 80s and 90s if you're a fan obviously you're going to you know buy this album this too was uh, pressed at GZ Media in Czechoslovakia um, no problems with the vinyl again this too was also mastered from the original analog tapes by Bernie Grunman and really produced nicely by Rick Rubin we all know Rick Rubin um, you know very famous and famous producer over the years this album again if you're if you're a Chili Peppers fan I think it sounds great Chad Smith's drums everything is very well balanced um, you know the bass sounds great vocals I have no complaints with this um, it does really sound like the old Red Hot Chili Peppers and they, they haven't released an album in a number of years so I was excited to get this this is also to a double LP so um, yeah if you're in the wild at a, your local record store if you're big Red Hot Chili Peppers fan grab it from the analog tapes mastered by Bernie Grunman so great sounding album no complaints at all from a sonic perspective I think you guys will be quite impressed with this as well and then a couple other things I was in the wild again and I, I mean every week I go to the different record stores here in Vancouver I picked up here it is here some of you might know it this is a m Records, this is a Canadian audiophile release of Super Tramps, even in the quietest moments. Now they've got two different um, albums of this. They've got the Gatefold, and they call it Audiophile Series on the, on the cover, or they have the Gold um, the gold Series here, as you can see. Now this one here, I know I did a video on it last summer. This is pretty much a Canadian Mobile Fidelity version of this album, and I'll tell you why it was mastered at half speed by Stan Ricker it's pressed on JVC Super Vinyl in Japan so this is a Canadian Mobile Fidelity album it sounds great um, from the video I did last summer this is actually my best sounding Super Tramp album I think it's wonderful and I got this guys for $20 Canadian so my US, uh, US friends out there that's around $15, $16 hell of a deal great sounding album and this is a mo pretty much a mobile fidelity album and this was made for the Canadian audiophile market so if you're in the wild and you see one of these guys pick it up fantastic deal and then just for fun I saw this as well you'll get a kick out of this so this is another Canadian audiophile um, record here it was called it's half speed mastered it's called the audiophile collection from Radio Shack for the Canadian market as well so I picked this up for three dollars Canadian. I'll probably not, never even never even um, listen to it. Uh, Kenny Rogers, Linda Ronstadt, as you can see, Anne Murray, Crystal Gale, um, Doctor Hook, Glenn Campbell. I mean, the vinyl is mint. I think it was played once, and uh, I got a laugh out of the back of it as well. Um, I don't know if you can see that there, but it basically says, "What is it meant by half speed mastering?" And it goes on to basically say, "After the artist's recording session is completed, the master tape, which contains the material, is." As heard on the recording is used to cut the lacquer master this involves two machines running at half their normal speed so I just love that that the um, have actually put it right on the back of the record so this was a Radio Shack of Canada exclusive to Canadian 
to the Canadian market and I got this for like three bucks as well so I thought that was a hoot. Um, I will probably listen to it just for fun but I'm not a huge fan of any of, the, any of these artists on here but I just definitely want to listen to it to see if, what type of sound quality. I haven't had a chance to already but yeah. Um, so kind of cool to see these type of things in the wild still. Anyways guys, thank you so much. Um, hope you enjoyed this episode and you know what to do every single time. Put that vinyl on, keep spinning it, and turning it up real loud. Until next time, see you again.